I'm going to tell you about a smart idea that the government used that actually saved taxpayers money when they were building schools 100 years ago. Let me tell you about it. I'm learning about what life was like 100 years ago by building a 112 scale model of a Sears kit house. Sears Roebuck was selling Sears kit homes between 1908 and 1942. Customers would order the kit and assemble the houses themselves and save a lot of money. If you've been following along, you know that I've been building this 112 scale model of this Sears kit house. I'm going to be building the subfloor for the scale model of the Sears kit house. But first, let's go back 100 years to see how they built schoolhouses back then. So come on, we don't want to be late. If you saw the previous video, I talked about the village of Claiborne and talked about the general store there. Check out the video if you haven't seen it. I'll leave a link in the description at the end of the video. The Claiborne School was built by the Claiborne Brick Company in 1907. It was originally built as a single story, one room school. In those days, most jurisdictions would have a standard set of plans for a schoolhouse and most schoolhouses looked very similar. This saved taxpayers money by not having to design a completely new school for every town or village. Similarly, businesses such as big box stores, hotels and fast food outlets do this today. It saves money and it standardizes quality. No matter where you go in the world, you can always recognize a McDonald's and you know exactly what to expect once you get inside. Let's look at the old Claiborne School and compare it to the old Lynn Valley School, which was built around the same time but is 75 miles away. They don't really look the same, but let's take a closer look. The Claiborne School was originally built as a one-story, one-classroom school. As the village grew and there were more kids, rather than building a completely new school, they just added on to it. So let's remove the basement and see what it looks like. Let's add a door here. We get something that looks like this. Now let's look at the old Lynn Valley School. I read somewhere that nobody really knows what the little structure on the roof was for, but I think it's a cupola. If you don't know what a cupola is, check out this video. I'll leave a link in the description where I explain the purpose of this little structure on the roof of the building. I remember when you entered the back door, there was just a set of stairs leading to the upper floor. I bet this was added on at some point in time and this was the only place they could put an indoor staircase. So let's remove this structure and the basement and see what the school would have looked like as a one story, one room classroom. Let's see what these buildings look side by side. Here is the front of the building. Let's compare this portion of the building to the other pictures. The school in Lynn Valley sure looks similar to the old Playburn school when we compare them side by side. If you are enjoying this video, remember to like and subscribe. It really motivates me to make new videos. Each minute of content you watch takes me several hours to prepare. It really means a lot to me when I see someone actually liked one of my videos. So I just wanted to say thanks. At the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what I have planned in the next video. So make sure you stick around to the end. So let's get started and lay the subfloor in our 112 scale model Sears kit house. They didn't have big sheets of plywood in the early 1900s, so they would use boards. They'd nail the boards at a 45 degree. This added strength to the structure. I'm using popsicle sticks which aren't always completely flat or straight, so it posed some challenges for me and is taking a bit longer to complete than I thought.
In the next video, we're going to look inside a classroom from 100 years ago to see what life was like as a student. I have some really interesting stories about what it was like to go to school back in those days. And I'll finish laying the floor to the model of our Sears kit home. So make sure you like and subscribe because you don't want to miss it. We'll see you in the next video.